Hey guys! So it's been a while. I haven't done a video in a really long time. I wasn't really ready to do a video today. I look like hell, but it's been too long and we need a Glitter Guy Taco video. So, today we are using Eileen's Taco It Over and Over which we do have in stock at The Glitter Guy right now. If you're not in our Facebook group, it's The Glitter Guy, or you can go to theglitterguy.com. Sorry, guys. I'm just get my guy to stop moving there. Perfect. So we're using Eileen's Tacket. I've already diluted it with water. Half and half. And I have mixed up entirely too much. So a little goes a long way, very long way. I'm using just a regular old paintbrush that I always use. This is from Walmart. I left the package in the other room, but they have two kinds. And they're made by the same company, so it really doesn't matter. This one is one inch, and that's my favorite size. So we have two cups today. This one I already painted with Tacket. This one we're gonna paint. This one I painted at 748, and it is 754 right now. You can see that it is completely dry. So we're just gonna set that aside for a second. We're gonna start fresh with this. So I'm just taking a little bit on my brush here, and I'm like normal, like normal Mod Podge with me, I'm just plopping it on there to get it on. And now I'm smoothing it out. And you saw how much I put on there, it's really not that much. And I don't really care what it looks like right now, I'm just trying to spread it around because that's how I get it on there. Now I'm brushing off my excess. And this is what it looks like right now. It's a hot mess. <clears throat> And I'm just gonna start at the top and smooth it out. You see that little on my ridge there? We don't want that to stay either. Go long ways and back down until it's gone. So I'm gonna do this all the way around the cup. And then where I have my line, I just start there like it's the top. Cause sometimes glue gets stuck in there. Do -do -do. And don't forget the bottom. And you saw how much I put on there, and I've been wiping it off this whole time. And mind you, I have not, this will be the second time I've ever done this. And I didn't watch any videos. I just learned <clears throat> from what people said online. That's the way I like to try things because if there's any problems, I can work them out because I don't have a choice. I don't know any other way. I just jump in there and do it. I think that's the best way to learn. So you can see it's pretty even. It's actually very even. And we're gonna sit this to the side to dry. Now let's hope this works, huh? So now we have this and it is tacky. I don't recommend touching it with your dirty fingers before you glitter it, but I just did. So all I'm doing right now is just shaking my holographic glitter. This one is Blue Lagoon from the Glitter Guy. It's one of my favorite holographics. And all I'm doing is applying the glitter like normal.
making sure that I am getting all my cup covered in the bottom. And again, this is glitter from the Glitter Guy. You can get the tacky glue from the Glitter Guy. You can get the tacky glue from, actually I don't know any other place right now. I think Amazon sold out still. You could try it though. My holder that I am using to hold my cup is just a PVC pipe with a noodle on the end that I've had to cover in paper towels to make it thicker over the time. You can use a football, you can use any kind of handle you really want, I suppose. I'm obsessive, I know. I'm obsessive with covering the cup. And there it is. So we are going to sit this to the side for now. All this lovely glitter away. You can see this one is still drying, but it might dry in time for us to do it on this video again. This is my first one, and like I said, I just jumped on in there and did it. And you can see where I've learned a lot. One, I jumped in way too fast and I didn't base coat this. Although, with a silver base coat and one thing of glitter, I still think that it got really good coverage. And I didn't let the glue dry enough, and you can see that here. You can see where it's raised. And it had a bunch of other spots like this, but I was able to work them out. This has been drying for a long time, so I don't know if I'm going to work it out like I did when it came out, but it is. You just gotta rub a little bit longer and harder, but oh, that doesn't sound right, does it? I hate that noise too. But even where I went, I didn't let it dry all the way. It still is going away. But this was my very first one. Again, I should, probably should have put a little bit of base coat on it. You'd see the glitter a lot better. So I can't wait to see what this one looks like when we rub off all the glitter. Sorry guys, I'm trying to Alright. Let's give it a go, shall we? That's crazy. My second tacket cup is coming out pretty good. And you can see there's not even that much glitter that's falling off. Although it does feel funny under your fingers. So you can see it's rubbing off really well. Again, this is Blue Lagoon from the Glitter Guy. You can see where I haven't rubbed it off yet.
And there you have it. Really does look cool. I know the, oh, actually the camera is picking up pretty well. The glitter afterwards does feel a little grainy. If you want, you can put it in a separate container. That's what I've seen a lot of people do. You could probably reuse it <clears throat> for your tacking method. This one seems pretty good. Let's see. It's 8.03. This one's been sitting for, I don't know, about eight minutes. I'm going to use hollow rose gold here. From the glitter guy and this is on a coral base I didn't really like this color base for this glitter initially but gotta work with what you got Sorry guys, you can hear the TV in the other room, I think. We're almost done. Promise you guys, we're almost done anyway. I hate doing the bottoms. Just a little extra, just in case I missed anything, because I'm a messy, messy crafter. If you did this more uniformed, you wouldn't have to go over it as many times as I do. But that's never seems to be how I work. So that dried for about seven or eight minutes and it's still working pretty cool. I think it looks pretty cool before you take it off. I want to leave this on one time. Put our glitter away so we don't mess it up. Some lids on these shakers before I knock over glitter, shall we? And again, before people turn this off, I used Eileen's Tacket over and over. Got it from the Glitter Guy, of course. And we used Blue Lagoon and Hollow Rose Gold. Actually, I think a coral base was exactly what this cup needed. I like it a lot. Actually, yeah, a coral base was really good for this. When I, I'm gonna post this video in the Glitter Guy group on Facebook, and I will post pictures of both spray paints that I used for the bases. Sorry. I'm trying to talk, think, and rub glitter off at the same time. And you can see it's really minimal glitter that falls. It's like nothing. It really is. I know over time it would add up, but maybe you could do a whole cup with it. So it's been 14 minutes, we've talked a little bit, and we've done two cups, and I did them pretty slow. Look at that. That's crazy. I love it. It really does bring out the holographic in it. So there you have it. I'll link our group in the bottom of this video along with the website and hopefully you join us in our Facebook group and good luck with all of your tacket cups. Thanks for watching guys.